भोपेश हमारा जिसे है नूर सारा नाम उसका है मोहम्मद दिल भर मेरा यही है ओ पेश to organize this program this afternoon, I spent a more person. It's already more so. I can have the welcome to it. Special welcome, because for this day is very, very special for us. And the time will come to be very, very special for the entire world that you will come to know. This day, that's why I'm going to see in my room. As you become on board, you will understand what we will do. So we begin. The recitation of the Holy Quran by the Imam of this branch of the Zaman Muhammad. Shaitan Rajim. Tanzilu al-kitabi min allahi al-aziz al-hakim Inna anzalna ilayka al-kitab bil-haqqi Fa'ubudillaha mukhlisan lahun deen Ala lillahi al-deen al-khalis والذين اتخذوا من دونه أولياء ما نعبدهم إلا ليقربونا إلى الله زلفا إن الله يحكم بينهم فيما هم فيه يختلفون إن الله لا يهدي من هو كاذب كفار لو أراد الله أن يتخذ ولدا لاصطفى مما يخلق ما يشاء مما يخلق ما يشاء سبحانه هو الله الواحد الفخار خلق السماوات والأرض بالخق يقوّر الليل على النهار ويقوّر النهار على الليل وسخر الشمس والقمر Ulu yajri li ajalim musamma Allahu al-azizul bakhar Qalqakum min nafusin wahidatin Thumma ja'ala minha zawjaha wa anzala lakum وأنزل لكم من الأنعام ثمانية أزواج يخلقكم في بطون أمهاتكم خلقا من بعد خلق خلقا من بعد خلق في ظلم ست السناس ذلكم الله ربكم له الملك لا إله إلا هو فأنا تصرفون إن تكفروا فإن الله غني عنكم ولا يرضى لعباده الكفر 
وَإِنْ تَشْكُرُوا يَرْضَهُ لَكُمْ وَلَا تَجِرُوا وَادِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى ثُمَّ إِلَى رَبِّكُمْ مَرْجِعُكُمْ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ وَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنْسَانَ ضُرٌّ دَعَا رَبُّهُ مُنِيبًا إِلَيْهِ ثُمَّ إِذَا خَوَّلَهُ نِعْمَةً مِنْهُ ثُمَّ إِذَا خَوَّلَهُ نِعْمَةً مِنْهُ نَسِيَ مَا كَانَ يَرْجُو إِلَيْهِ مِنْ قَبْلُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَجَعَلَ لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ قُلْ تَمَتَّعْ بِكُفْرِكَ قَلِيلًا إِنَّكَ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ النَّارِ أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتٌ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةَ يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةَ وَيَرْجُو رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتٌ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا يحذر الآخرة ويرجو رحمة ربه قل هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون إنما يتذكرون الألباء نديم الله رب الشسم السفل The revelation of this book is from Allah, the Almighty, the Wise. Surely it is we who have revealed the book to you, comprising the truth. So worship Allah, being sincere to Him in obedience. Remember, it is to Allah alone that sincere obedience is due. And those who take us protectors, others besides Him, we serve them only that they may bring us near to Allah and station, they say. Surely Allah will judge between them. Concerning that wherein they differ, surely Allah guides not him who is an ungrateful liar. If Allah had desired to take unto himself a son, he could have chosen whom he pleased out of what he creates. Holy is he. He is Allah, the one, the most supreme. He created the heavens and the earth in accordance with the requirements of wisdom. He makes the night to cover the day, and he makes the night to cover, cover the day to cover the night. And he has pressed the sun and the moon into service. Each pursues its course until an appointed time. Indeed, he it is alone who is the mighty, the great forgiver. He created you from a single being. Then from that he made his companion. And he has sent down for you of the cattle eight pairs. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, creation after creation, through three stages of darkness. This is Allah, your Lord. His is a kingdom. None deserves to be worshipped but he. Why are you then turned away? If you are ungrateful, surely Allah is self-sufficient of you. And he is not pleased with ingratitude in his servants. But if you are grateful, he likes it in you. And no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return. And he will inform you of what you have been doing. Surely he knows full well all that is in their hearts. And when an affliction befalls man, he calls upon his Lord, turning to him. And when he confers upon him a favor from himself, he forgets what he used to pray for before and starts assigning rivals to Allah that he may lead people astray from his way. Say, profit from your disbelief a little. Surely you are of the inmates of the fire. Is he who prays devoutly in the hours of the night prostrating himself, and standing, and fears the hereafter, and hopes for the mercy of his Lord. Is he who prays devoutly in the hours of the night, prostrating himself, and standing, and fears the hereafter, and hopes for the mercy of his Lord. Say, are those who know equal to those who know not? Verily, 
Only those endowed with understanding will take heed. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And now, we have a poem of the Prophet Messiah, when I read the Shiraz Dei Muhammad. Brothers and sisters in Islam, and brothers and sisters in humanity, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The poem I am about to recite is about the love for Almighty Allah and the Holy Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It was written in the Urdu language by the Promised Messiah and Mahdi, peace be upon him, following which I shall read to you the English translation. Lo tum hi taur tasalli ka bataya humne Aao logo ke yehi Aaj un in nooro ka ik zor hai Is aajiz mein दिल को इन नूरों का हर रंग दिलाया हमने जब से ये नूर मिला नूर पयंबर से हमें जात से हक की उजुड अपना मिलाया हमने आओ लोगों के ये मुस्तफा पर तेरा बेहद हो सलाम और रहमान उससे ये नूर लिया बारे खुदाया हमने रब्त है जाने मोहम्मद से मेरी जान को मुदाम दिल को वो जाम लबालब है पिलाया हमने आओ लोगों के ये तेरे मुँह की कसम मेरे प्यारे अहमद तेरी खातिर से ये सब बाद उठाया हमने तेरी उल्फत से है मामूरे मेरा हर जरा अपने सीने में ये एक शहर बसाया हमने आओ लोगों के यही नूरे खुदा पाओगे लो तुम ही तो तसल्ली का बताया हमने आओ लोगों के ये नक्श हस्ती तेरी उल्फत से मिताया हमने अपना हर जरा तेरी राह में उड़ाया हमने शान हक तेरे शमाइल में नजर आती है 
तेरे पाने से ही उस जात को पाया हमने आओ लोगों के यही दिल बड़ा मुझको कसम है तेरी यखटाई के आपको तेरी मोहब्बत में भुलाया हमने हम हुए खैर उमम तुझसे ये खैर रसुल तेरे भर बढ़ने से कदम आगे बढ़ाया हमने आओ लोगों के यही नूर खुदा पाओगे लो तुम ही तो तसली का बताया हमने आओ लोगों के यही कम टू मी कम हेयर ओ ये पीपल इट इज हेयर यू विल फाइंड द लाइट ऑफ द लॉर्ड Listen carefully to what I say since here and I reveal to you the secret to the real peace of mind all those lights this day most powerfully shine in my humble person and to my fond heart I have imparted all the colors and tones of those lights from the moment I obtained this radiance from the light of the holy prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam my being i have mingled with the purpose and being of the lord thy boundless blessings and peace be upon mustafa o god verily through him we receive thy light my soul is eternally bonded to the soul of muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam i made my heart drink deep of the brimful cup of this love Verily by thine own sweet countenance I swear my dear Ahmad it is only for thy sake that I have shouldered these crushing burdens thy love has taken possession of every particle of my existence this is the great city of love which I have built up in my heart with thy love o Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam I have destroyed the signs of my own existence For thy sake I have thrown to the winds everything that I had. God's glory is evident in the excellence of thy character. By coming into contact with thee, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I eventually came into contact with the divine being. O my beloved, I swear by thy unity in my love of thee I have become oblivious of my own self. It was because of you that we became the best of all peoples O prophet of God who is the best of best of all prophets as you marched ahead of all the rest we to step forward amen thank you very much assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat We have the contributions from the children. I have four names: Ms. Sadia Bach, Ms. Kareem Mali, Ms. Nasir Khan, and Ms. Usman Khan. One of the others. Okay, one of the others. So the first will be Ms. Sadia Bach. Him. 
no bad by smells any fragrance more agreeable than the fragrance of the holy prophet. May the peace and, bl may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. I have served him for ten years. He never said of to me, nor did he say of anything I had done. Why did you do it? Nor did he say of anything I had not done. Why did you not do, do such and such? By the Kori and Muslim. Two, the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, I guarantee a home within the boundary of paradise for one who gives up showing off even if he is in the right. I guarantee a home in the middle of paradise for one who gives up lying even in fun. I guarantee a home on the heights of paradise for one whose behavior is excellent by Abu Dao. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Auzu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillah rahman rahim. I'm going to present some prayers of the Holy Prophet. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. 1. When confronted with a difficult task, the Messenger of Allah prayed, O oh Allah, there is nothing easy except that which you make easy. You can make a painful situation easy when you please. 2. When the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, entered the mosque of Juma prayer, he would grasp the door of the mosque and pray, O oh Allah, make me the most attentive of those who attend to you, and make me the nearest to you of those who approach you, and make me the best of those who beg of you, and of those who incline to you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Now, Master Nasir. Assalamu alaikum. Auzu billahi mina shaitan rajim. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. I am going to present two hadith on generosity and spending a good cause, trusting in Allah. The Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Only two persons are worthy of being envied. One, a person upon whom Allah bestows riches and gives him the power to spend in a righteous cause. Two, a person who upon whom Allah bestows wisdom by which he judges, but and what by which he teaches, Bukhari and Muslim. On another occasion, the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Only two persons are worthy of being envied. One, he upon whom Allah bestowed the Quran, and he conforms to it through the hours of the night and the day. Two, he upon whom Allah bestow wealth, and he spends it in the course of Allah through the hours of the night and the day. Bukhari and Muslim. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Auzu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am going to present a hadith on pray for good. The Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, When one of you thinks about beginning an enterprise, he shall offer two rakats of voluntary salah and then pray the following words. O oh Allah, 
I see good from you because of your power, and I beg of you because of your vast grace. For you have power, and I have no power, and you have knowledge, and I have no knowledge, and you know well all that is hidden. O oh Allah, if you know that this matter is good for me in respect of my faith, my subsistence, and the end of my affairs, then grant me power over it, and make it easy for me, and bless it for me. But if you know that this matter is bad for me in respect of my faith, my subsistence, and the end of my affairs, then remove it from me, and keep me away from it, and grant me the power to go good wherever it may be, and make me pleased with it. Bokhori, thank you, Assalamualaikum. <laughs> And now we have uh, some excellent from the writings of the Prophet Messiah. And this is to be by Asim Khan. Assalamu alaikum. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I shall present two selections from the writing of the Promised Messiah, Allah Salam. First, all prophets came from for the same purpose. The main purpose of the advent of prophets, Allah Salam, in this world and the grand objective of their teaching and preaching is that mankind should recognize God Almighty and should be delivered from life which leads to hell and ruin and which is known as the life of sin. In fact, this is the most important objective before them. Now that God Almighty has established a dispensation and has raised me, the same purpose which is common to all prophets, alayhi salam, is also the purpose of my coming, namely, that I wish not only to tell the world what God is, but I actually want them to see him and to show them the way of desisting from sin. Malfuzah. Secondly, blessings of the Imam of the age. Whenever the Imam of an age makes his appearance in the world, he is accompanied by thousands of lights. There is jubilation in heaven and people's good qualities are stimulated through the spread of spirituality and light. So the one who possesses the capacity of receiving revelation begins to receive revelation and the one who has the capacity to gain understanding by reflecting upon matters of faith, his power of reflection of understanding is augmented and the one inclined towards worship begins to find pleasure in worship and supplication. And the one who engages in discourse with the followers of other faith is bestowed the power of reasoning and carrying the arguments to a convincing conclusion. In fact, all this results from the diffusion of spirituality which descend from heaven with the imam of the age and find its way into every eager heart. This is a general phenomenon and a divine practice to which the Holy Quran and the authentic Ahadith guide us, which I have observed through my personal experiences. But the age of the promised Messiah has a unique characteristic, which is that in the scriptures of early, earlier prophets, alayhi salam, and in Ahadith, it is recorded that at the time of advent of the promised Messiah, the spread of spiritual light will reach a degree that women will also receive revelations, children will be able to prophesy, and common people will speak with the power of the Holy Spirit. All this will be a reflection of the spirituality of the promised Messiah. When the light of the sun fall, falls upon a wall, it is illuminated, and if it has been whitewashed with lime, it shines even more. And if it has studded with mirrors, it reflects the light so strongly that the naked eye can hardly bear its reflection. But the wall cannot claim that the light is on its own, for the light vanishes altogether after sunset. In the same manner, all the light of revelation is a reflection of the light of the Imam of the age, the Rurat ul Imam. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> As we 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a poem written by the promised Messiah, Allahi Salam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Awaz arahi hai ye folo karaf se. Awaz arahi hai ye folo karaf se. Dhoom. 